on taking such a huge and important step in your relationship and I wish you, wish you all the best for the future. On behalf of the beautiful bridesmaid, thank you Shannon for your kind words. I totally, totally agree that all of the fun the past only by Laura herself is breathtaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also like to uh, thank the parents of the bride, Terry and Christine, and the parents of the groom, uh, Bruce and Lynette, for putting so much effort into the wedding preparations and for providing the means to celebrate such an uh, awesome event and such style. Now, I'll depart <coughs> from the subject of style and talk for a few minutes about Shin. <laughs> I first met Shannon four years ago in our first year at university while we were both at Hayward Pool. Now it's true that in the first few weeks of a pool, nobody knows anyone, so people are willing to make friends with any weirdo just to not feel like <laughs> But I can honestly say from the word go, I really liked Shannon and enjoyed his company. In fact, it was Shannon's room that used to be the focal point for a few drinks in the weekend. <coughs> And, and it was here that a number of the qualities that make Shannon such a good guy became evident. Not least the fact that he really does care for his mate. One such droid that displays his admirable characteristic involves to Shannon and today's MC, Chris. Now it's well known that Chris falls asleep in unusual places after he's had a few to drink. And so it was on Saturday night they were in Shannon's room, and Chris got up and left. Ten minutes later, he still hadn't returned, something that none of us really took any notice of except Shannon, in whose mind possible scenarios were going through. <coughs> Suddenly, Shannon jumped up in a state of panic and exclaimed, Guys, Chris, man, he hasn't returned. He's probably fallen asleep somewhere. He's probably gone to have a shower, and he's probably asleep in the shower and face down in the water and he's drowning. <laughs> We were looking at each other a bit confused, but Shannon was out the door sprinting down the hallway. We followed him and he then burst into the bathroom and of course there was no time to shout out Chris's name, that would take far too long. <laughs> then he dashed into the dressing cubicle and started clambering up the wall. He was halfway over when he looked inside. He was a naked Asian staring up at him. <laughs> <laughs> the expression of terror on his face. <laughs> I suppose it's a lesson in this for you, Laura. Watch out. Shannon will use any excuse. <laughs> Another characteristic that I admire about Shannon that is his integrity. He has a number of moral principles that he hard work at, something that is evident from his university mark, and also the fact that he is frustratingly good at a number of sports. He is only good at non context <laughs> <laughs> The last time he tried rugby was at the Hayward Hall South Island vs North Island Rugby League match. Shannon got a tooth in his head after 10 